Isn't that the truth? I haven't got it all figured out just yet. Uh, trying. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I'm on my way to work. One of the things I hate the most is watching people sing along to their radio in movies and commercials. It just looks so sort of disingenuous and it just drives me crazy. The radio just said that Alanis Morissette was getting married. Oh, I'm so happy for her. You know, if that's what she wants. Marriage isn't for everybody. <laughs> I'm settled in. My hair looks crazy, whatever. It's so dark in here. <laughs> turned out to be so beautiful out. Must remember to get sunglasses. You're very demanding. Okay, I'm going to run some errands to Beverly Hills. I don't love it here. It's just not my jam. You're obviously in the wrong place. Please leave. I try to come here not very often. There's Chanel down there. So my friend's last name is Wolfer. 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 Yeah, thanks. I think it's this way. Oh no. Okay. I want to get the F out of here. Parking garage. I'm gonna put my car in reverse. It kind of sounds like a deep fart. <laughs> right back. Nice car. <laughs> my car. Her car. <laughs> so I was just in the bank. They were talking about the COVID or coronavirus or whatever it's called now. Obviously, everybody in the world is concerned about. I I don't know what it is. I'm not that concerned about it. Maybe because I washed my hands so much already. I don't know. I mean, I had the flu right when I got home from Washington. Did we bring home the coronavirus? <laughs> don't worry, we already thought about that. We don't think so. Mine was just flu-like symptoms for about a week. Tad is still not feeling the greatest. He went to the doctor yesterday and they said, no, you don't have that. Anyway, I'm gonna be rushing to rehearsal. The bank was really slow. There was only one teller, but like three managers just standing right there observing. It wasn't like that teller was a trainee. I've seen her for two years. So I don't really know why they can't just like pitch in, but maybe those guys don't wanna get their hands dirty while they stand there and watch her. Well, I'm gonna rush back to work and then get my things and go, 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 go. Oh, I made it to rehearsal right on time. Walking in. Hello, dressing room. Oh, hey. I clipped them. How do you feel about using this knife? You're excited? I heard it from like my other friends who works in Australia. The prom master didn't dull the knife. Oh shit. She just wrapped the knife in a bunch of tape and plastic so it wouldn't cut through. So when one of the shows, the kids is like slitting through on stage with the prop knife and it actually slit the actor's throat. 
And after that, the kid got drops down to the trap door. Oh. And no one noticed the kid's throat got actually cut open oh. until like people found him in the trap room two minutes later when the crew found him. You were. Oh, Louis Ben is not happy about that. Stand back! We're well into preview number one. I think it's going really well. It's really fun having an audience there finally. We got new headdress things. It's pretty cute, right? And it means I don't have to do my extensions. Michael, can you please come? Michael? I need you. Okay. I'm just putting it here. Yeah, I think it's like, oh. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. The top is in five or? The wood one? Uh huh. But the other one, can you keep it held up? Just, it's funny. When you're in transition, you're still in character. I just want you guys to connect, like, physically too, so, like, be looking at each other. And oh, like, I would love that. Like, my hat, like, cuts off my entire face. Preview number one. Donzo. For the most part, I think the show went really well. There was some panic at intermission. I don't know what's gonna happen with our show, to be honest. Somebody had seen on their phone, like during the show backstage um, at intermission, that there was a travel ban for most of Europe. So not all of Europe, but some of Europe, I guess. And a lot of theaters are canceling shows. Oh, there's a little bunny rabbit. Oh, so cute. You know what? Nothing else is important. I'm gonna peace out. <sighs> you guys, I did not want to get up this morning. But here we go. Oh my gosh. For some reason, I thought today was Friday. It's only Thursday. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> I'm so bummed it's not Friday. Donna was like, oh, my sister is supposed to come from Italy next week. And we're like, girl, <laughs> my poor friends. I texted them like, like pretty late. And I just said, hey, sorry for the late text. If you're considering coming to the show, I would encourage you to come this weekend. What that guy is doing is so hard. Let's do this. We canceled your appointment on the 21st, do you remember? I might hear from her again later today, which is just fine. So she's actually a client that was like pretty rude to me when I first started working here. I'm lucky to have a boss that doesn't put up with that so he had a talk with her he made it clear to me that he has no problem breaking up with a client if they're rude because we just don't have time for rude people so i feel very um grateful that that we're like a team so it's good oh yes you so you're wondering if you if you can still come this weekend yep she called and changed her mind again okie dokie there's still flowers coming for owen These are so thorny. Ow. Ow. Ouch. Ow. Ow. Ugh. Okay. This is what happens in LA. Small rivers on the streets. This is what I have to step over. I moved my car closer. I just got a notice that they canceled all of March for two theaters that are pretty comparable to the one I'm working at. So I don't know, this might be my opening and closing weekends. What a drag. And I know that sounds like I'm trivializing the loss of life and I, and I'm, I don't mean to be. I'm just, you know, onward to uh, pick up the dry cleaning right now. That's, that's actually what's happening. I was just reading some messages from dear friends in Seattle who are a part of the theater community there and their shows just went down. You know, this is hard for independent contractors and artists. It's just, it's tough, you know? I just hope that this passes quickly so that folks can get back to work. A lot of my friends also here well, in, in Seattle and New York, they all teach on the side. Everybody's pretty concerned. They're not quite sure how they're going to pay their, their rent. I feel very, very lucky that 
I mean, Benjamin and I haven't talked about it, but I have a fairly good sense that he would still pay me. I don't know though. I don't know because if he's not making any money, uh, I don't know. Also, did I mention I love the rain? I'm off to rehearsal. Ugh. The theaters have all been closed down by the plague. Oh, that. Everybody's closing down. Everywhere, big, small. I guess the one thing I do want to say is that after last night, I feel like the show is really ready for people to see it. It's 4.20 right now. If we go on at 8, like, if there's anyone that you guys want to, like, come and see the show tonight, like, call them and see if they can come in. They're putting the show down. Um, as all the theaters are doing. Technically, it's our preview number two. It's our only performance, really, except for last night. Until sometime in April, but... And who knows? I don't know. It's a mystery. Good night, theater.